guys, it's Maggie and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Leaves. Lainey is now hosted by Sam over at Thoughts on Tones. I will leave a link to both of their channels down in the description. So today's topic is Top 5 Favorite First Sentences in any book, basically. I went with the first book in a series for 4 out of 5 of them just because it was kind of... I really like how series start off because it's like you're entering this whole world and the first line is what gets you in. So let's get started. These are in no particular order. So the first one I have is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Bane Chronicles is basically a bunch of short stories about Magnus Bane from the Shadowhunter world, Mortal Instrument series, whatever you want to call it. So the first line in the first story of this book is, it was a sad moment in Magnus Bane's life when he was banned from Peru by the High Council of Peruvian Warlocks. And the reason I like this so much is because that is literally Magnus to a T. He's always saving people, doing adventures, he's, al he's always doing something. So I really thought that he would do something to get him banned and it was kind of funny. It was a nice like laugh going into it because I had no idea what to expect when I was reading this. Next I have These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This was my most recent read, I believe. I just finished this a couple days ago and the first line in this book is, nothing about this room is real. So why I like this one so much is because it's very, very vague, so we have no idea what's happening going into this. I mean, we have the synopsis on the back, so we know like it's in the future, and they're on like a cruise ship in space, and it crashes, and they're the only two survivors. So what room? Where is this room? What's happening? Are, is the story told like currently, or are we going back? And yeah, I just really like it because it's very vague, and so it leaves you with nothing but wanting to keep reading. Next, I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, one of my favorite series of all time, and I really love start of this series because I had no idea if I was going to like this book when I first started reading it and, the, and basically the first line kind of solved that problem for me. The blue sergeant had forgotten how many times she'd been told that she would kill her true love. Her main character is going to kill her true love. Like, okay! We had no idea how, why, anything. We just knew that blue sergeant had been told many times that she would kill her true love and I obviously wanted to find out more information about that. Hence why I kept reading. Next, I have Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I love this series. A lot of people have read it, but a lot of people aren't talking about it on booktube right now, probably because the next book isn't out for, I want to say, another month. But I'm so excited that I read this. It's such an interesting series, and there's so much world building, and it's beautiful, and it's like fantasy world goals. Like, I love this world so much. And the first line in this book, she never killed before tonight. When like the first chapter of a book opens with like a death and like a killer, it's like, whoa, like we're obviously, this obviously has major connections to the story, we want to go back and find out more, and that's kind of what happened with the series, and we realize eventually who she killed, why, who this she is, and so we just obviously want to keep reading, hence why I really love vague, interesting, sudden starts to the series. Lastly, I have Percy Jackson and the, and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. It's not a favorite for sentences if you don't include Percy Jackson because this whole series is just beautiful and hilarious and wonderful with the exception of Love Olympus. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. We made it through. It's okay. We made it through that one page that messed everything up for me, but it's okay. And I love the first sentence because obviously I was about 12 when I started reading this, so I was Percy's age when the series started. Look, I didn't want to be a half-blood. And I'm just going to keep reading. If you're reading this because you think you might be one, my advice is close this book right now. Believe whatever lie your mom or dad told you about your birth and try to lead a normal life. Being a half-blood is dangerous. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed in painful, nasty ways. But if you recognize yourself in these pages and you feel something stirring inside, stop reading immediately. You might be one of us. And once you know that, it's only a matter of time before they sense it too, and they'll come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. My name is Percy Jackson. I'm 12 years old. Until a few months ago, I was a boarding student at Yancey Academy, a private school for troubled kids in upstate New York. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. What is a fourth wall? What are fourth walls? I love how he immediately talks to the readers when it starts, and at 12 years old, that was so exciting, because I was like, ooh, the, the, our narrator's talking to us, I want to keep reading. And so, I love, I love how this starts. It's beautiful, it's unique, and it's, it's wonderful. It's also hilarious. So that's it for this week's Top 5 Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!